Hello, uh, now we are going to the section of solid uh, with the section plane which is perpendicular to horizontal plane and inclined to vertical plane. So we can discuss this case with the help of a problem. Uh, see the problem is a hexagonal pyramid base 35 mm and height 55 mm rest with its base on HP such that one of its edges is perpendicular to VP. A section plane inclined at 60 degree to VP and perpendicular to HP cuts the pyramid at 10 mm from the axis. Draw the sectional views and true shape of section. That's the question. So first uh, let's see the video. The solid is placed on the first quadrant and it is cut by a section plane which is perpendicular to HP and inclined to VP. And you can see that uh, when we this portion is removed to see the uh, section uh, which is obtained when we cut this uh, solid by the section plane. Okay, And you can see that when we look at the object and the section plane from the top, this section plane can be represented as a line in top view when we look at this section plane from the top that can be represented as a line in top view or we extend this section plane uh, to horizontal plane that will mean horizontal plane so uh, that can be represent, represented as a uh, trace horizontal trace in top view and that line is inclined to x y line in top view okay see so this is the section when we project this you can see the sectional front view and look from the top we will get the uh, top view and we tilt the horizontal plane now this is a sectional front view and we this is a top view after sectioning okay so when we tilt the uh, horizontal plane through 90 in the clockwise direction this is a true shape we can represent the both views on a single plane okay now we are moving to the problem we can represent this problem on a drawing sheet so this is the final figure uh, how to draw this figure that we can discuss one by one first we uh, we can draw the reference line x y then as per the question it is given that one base edge is perpendicular to vp the hexagonal pyramid which is resting on hp and such a way that one base edge is perpendicular to vp one base edge perpendicular to vp means the top view of that base edge is perpendicular to x line either on the right side or on the uh, left side okay in this case uh, uh, the line which is on left side as well as the line which is on right side is perpendicular to x line so we can start with uh, this line or this line okay you complete the top view and draw the corresponding front view then you draw the section plane so it is given that the section plane is perpendicular to horizontal plane and inclined to vp at 60 degree so uh, as i told you uh, when we look at the section plane in top view that can be represented as a line in top view that can be represented as a line in top view which is inclined to excellent so in this case that inclination which is given is 60 degree so the section plane can be represented as horizontal trace in the top view or sp that is section plane uh, which is inclined 60 degree to x y line so how we can draw the section plane that we can discuss first uh, you can draw it is given that the section plane passing at a distance of uh, 10 millimeter in front of the axis 10 millimeter from the axis okay so first you draw a circle of radius 10 millimeter 5 represent diameter so first you draw a circle of radius 10 millimeter because the section plane passing 10 millimeter in front of the axis that should be the shortest dis distance also okay so first you draw a circle of uh, radius 10 millimeter and after that you can draw a line that is the section plane which is tangent to this circle at an angle 60 degree okay so uh, the line should be inclined 60 degree to x y line also and that should be tangent to the circle also so to draw this section plane first you draw a line which is uh, inclined 60 degree to x y line anywhere on this drawing sheet okay first you draw a line which is not shown here first you draw a line which is 60 degree inclined to x y line and then you place the scale which is parallel to that scale and move the scale uh, to meet the circle at a point and to that point you can draw the section plane and that will be inclined 60 degree to x y line and also that uh, will be turned into the circle also okay so that way we can draw the section plane which is inclined 60 degree to x y line uh, 
and the section plane which is inclined 60 degree to vertical plane means the section plane is inclined 60 degree to xy line in top view and this distance should be 10 millimeter that should be the shorter distance also okay so i, I will repeat how to draw the section plane first you can draw a line 60 degree inclined to x line anywhere on this drawing sheet that should be inclined 60 degree to x line draw a line okay and um, uh, place the scale which is parallel to that scale uh, that line which is already drawn at an angle 60 degree and move the scale up to this point okay and that line will meet at a meet a point on the circle and through that point you can draw the section line and that will be inclined 60 to x line and also that should be uh, that will be uh, at a shorter distance of 10 millimeter from the axis in this way you can uh, represent the section line okay after that you can mark the section point so when we start from the left side you can see that here the section line meet at the end af so that point is first point first section point then uh, next the section plane will mean a o this line at a point that is 2 then third point you will get the third point here that is on b o and the fourth point is on b c so there are four section points so we will get four section points when we cut this only uh, by a section plane which is perpendicular to s p and inclined to d to v p okay then after that you can project all these section points into front view the corresponding edges in the front view so you can see that when we project this point one the point is on af so when we project that point we will um, we will get that point on uh, x y line at this point okay then second point on ao so directly you can project that point into a dash o dash third point is on bo bo means this line this line is a perpendicular line so that can uh, cannot be directly transferred into b dash o dash this point cannot be directly transferred to this line because the line is perpendicular to x y line so for that what we are going to do is you can rotate this point into c o okay c o or a o to any line so c o then yeah you can project that point into c dash o dash and from that point you can project it into b dash o dash okay so then last point is on b c so transfer that point into b dash c dash you will get the point here then join all the points by straight line and hash the section then after that here also the section plane is uh, inclined to one reference plane and perpendicular other plane the section plane is not parallel to any one of the reference plane so the sectional front view which is obtained here is not the true shape so we have to draw the true shape additionally so for that uh, as in the previous case here also we have to draw a line we have to consider another plane uh, and you draw the front view of that line x1 y1 which is parallel to this section line yeah, you can draw the line here also or you can draw the line in the bottom portion it is better to draw the line in the bottom portion if uh, there is a enough space uh, here okay then uh, after that and, and there is uh, you can take any convenient distance from uh, section plane to this point or the, uh, to up to this line okay any convenient distance then you can draw a line which is perpendicular to the section plane through all the section point to any convenient line then after that we have to pro uh, project all this point one two three four into uh, these lines so how to project this point that we can discuss here you can see that the point one is on the xy line itself so we take the distance of all the section point from xy okay so one dash is already on x y line so the distance of one dash from x y line is zero so uh, one, you can locate the point one dash here itself on x1 y1 itself okay so you can mark that point on the line drawn through point one then take the distance of perpendicular distance of point two from x y this distance and mark that point from x1 y1 from this line on the line drawn through two okay this distance equal to the distance of 2 dash from x line this distance similarly you locate 3 and 4 okay then join all the points by continuous thick line and hash the section so this is the uh, way to represent the true section and this is the final representation of uh, the sectional views and the true shape of section when the section plane is uh, perpendicular to horizontal plane and inclined to Video plane. Okay, then we are moving to another problem.